Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video, showcasing a fun and fashionable build I put together after completing the guide at long last. This quest is one of the most notorious quests in the game, because it requires you to survive on every map in the game consecutively without dying once. It can be a real pain to complete if luck isn't on your side, but I turned to my rat instincts and basically just crept through the bushes to extraction seven times in a row and got it done on my second try. Your reward for completing this monumental task is a unique magazine for the AK-101, the 5.56 version that barely anyone uses, even though it's honestly a really fun weapon and one of my favorite AK variants. For this build, I wanted to set up a fully tan AK-101 to match the magazines that you unlock, so let's take a look at the setup first, and then I have some gameplay with the build at the end. To start off, I usually get my AK-101 off the flea market, generally at around 30 to 40,000 rubles at most, and I strip off all the parts except the gas tube. Starting from the muzzle, the first part here is the CNC Warrior Muzzle Adapter, which lets you attach 5.56 AR muzzle devices. Then I add the Surefire SF3P Compensator and the Surefire RC2 Suppressor, which is a great combination for the price with solid recoil stats for any 5.56 build. The handguard on this build is the Magpul Zhukov U handguard, which has all right recoil stats, but a really big ergonomics boost, and can be found on the market for sometimes less than 10,000 rubles. This handguard takes M-lock rails, so you need to add those to put on attachments, and then I picked the Magpul RVG grip in the FDE color and the X400 flashlight, which I use on almost all of my builds. For the dust cover, I like to use the Bastion dust cover on AKs since it's super cheap and adds both recoil and ergonomic stats to any build. The sight on this one can be interchanged for basically any of the EOTech hollow sights, but if you want to stick with the color theme, the EXPS3 sight matches with the rest of the parts. For the stock, first off I start with the RPK16 buffer tube, which lets you attach most stocks that fit onto a buffer tube. Then I get an MOE carbine stock plus the rubber butt pad attachment, again in the FDE color to match the rest of the setup. There's only a few FDE pistol grips for the AK, and on this build I went with the SI enhanced pistol grip, sold by Mechanic Level 3 for only around 4,000 rubles. Finally, the last part on the build is just an RP1 charging handle for the extra point of ergonomics. If you've completed the guide, you can also get these Arsenal CWP mags with a sweet 50% check speed bonus, but otherwise you're stuck with the default 6L29 mags. When it's all put together, you're looking at 57 recoil and around 60 ergonomics for a total price of about 165,000 rubles. You can also set this build up exactly the same way on the shorter AK-102, and the stats are actually quite good as well with 59 recoil and about 68 ergonomics. Well that about covers it for the build, so I'm going to let some gameplay with this setup roll for the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy, and let me know what you think of the build down in the comments, especially if you tried it out for yourself. Thanks for checking out the video, I've got links to my Twitch stream, Discord server, and Patreon page down below for anyone interested, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City. I just heard somebody breathe in there. Look at how much that hurt. Oh my god, look at how much that hurt me. I got 140 HP. I always forget that you guys can't see my health number. From one shot through the fucking like window there by obviously a KS-23. Fuck this shit, I'm out! Party. Is this the guy under me in Emercom? There's a third guy in here!
I think there might even be a fourth one behind me. Oh my god. Unless that was my headphones messing the volume up. Or like the direction, I mean. Oh my god, I do have the green stim. Dude, that's where my mule usually is, so I don't even look in that corner. Yes! Oh no! Yeah. wonderful thing about interchange is there's all these 100% lunchbox spawns. Yep, what the fuck did I tell ya? like warped ahead. Ooh, somebody else is fighting him. That's perfect for me. the guy. I'm pretty sure that dude killed him and then ran through the fucking coffee shop. <sighs> Holy fuck, man. for my excellent rat work today. Wasn't it shot in hope? Nerdy. Can't tell where the screaming is coming from, but I think down low. Yeah, that's what I what I meant. It was like, oh, fuck. I think this guy might be getting shot in the ass.
hear the walking on the glass. But I don't see shit. I think he might be going through Papa John's. I was gonna try and like let him walk past me and use this as cover, but I thought he might have saw my head move through the thing. Gonna be like the fucking McPoyles from uh, It's Always Sunny. That's what I'm imagining here. Nice, mighty Vespa. I'm glad it worked out for you. Yeah, it kind of sounded like this guy had a silent shoddy. Or a scab stole the gun. That could be it. Oh yeah, dude, this guy totally had... A vector? Weird. Man, because of the fog. There it is. This fucking little guy did steal it. We've solved the mystery, boys. Ah, face shields. It's so fucking nice just listening to yourself breathing all moistly. Did I just saw him? Yeah, I did. Oh shit! Oh shit! Also, it could be, like, really ideal if they keep chasing, or they just assume that I'm gone. They're going back to get their friend's body, I think. Oh, <laughs> you guys see that physics? That guy's body did like a weird front fucking scorpion.